the Ade Ajayi Auditorium of the University of Lagos crammed to its fullest. It is the first national discourse on suicide prevention in Nigeria, a country with really heartbreaking statistics of suicide amongst its young people. About 322 million persons battle depression across the world. Now in Nigeria, depression is said to be one of the leading causes of suicide. Now, this is the first suicide prevention initiative put together by well-meaning Nigerians to hold the government accountable towards the passage of the mental health bill as well as decriminalization of suicide across the country. It is really scary looking at the age range of those who are dying is the fact that a lot of them are young people within the productive years 18 to 35 to even 45 but the core age is between 18 to 35 and obviously that's a worry the people who with suicidal ideas the people who are attempting you know to harm themselves via um, suicide are between the age ranges of 30 of 13 to 49 that's the major workforce of nigeria that's the strength of this country and we're losing them to suicide if we do not do anything about it. President Association of Psychiatrists in Nigeria, APN, says that not everyone who tried to take their own life really wanted to die. There is no vaccine for suicide. No vaccine. Nobody is immune to suicide, including the psychiatrists. Many have alerted that the rise in suicide statistics is directly linked to the increase in poverty in the country, a notion that Senator and Chairman Senate Committee on Health is quick to debunk as he estricates government completely from the blame game. The trigger factor is not economy among the youth. I think it's more of either mental illness from substance abuse or primary mental illnesses that is not recognized. And also, too, the family pressure and lack of family support. I'm a sponsor of uh, a mental health bill that address all the issues of mental health. And this bill was put together by, sta by stakeholders in the, in the sector. This bill has been taken for first reading about three weeks ago, and I'm sure it will enjoy second reading and processing by the first quarter of next year. It is believed that more of the stakeholder interaction with children, youths, mental health workers and government will not only raise awareness, but will also curb depression and societal ideation in the country ahead of the new year 2020. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.